Okay, this is my um, brake caliper, uh, my Chevy Avalanche 2003. Um, had to replace brake lines, and of course, when I tried to bleed the brakes, <coughs> the calipers, uh, the bleeder screw, were uh, frozen up, damaged, and I put heat to them and managed to get them out. But then uh, trying to get them sealed again was a problem. I tried going to a bigger uh, thread, and uh, that didn't quite work for me. Uh, so the next thing I found is this nice little setup where it has a bushing with a, uh, if you didn't screw up your hole too bad, you could use a 10 millimeter or 3 8 uh, pipe thread. Um, I think that, I guess you'd have to use the NPT uh, 3 8 but I screwed up my hole enough, so I went to the next size up. Uh, and this is um, a quarter inch MPT. So, one thing you're going to need to know is uh, you need to get that pipe tap started real straight, and you don't have enough depth in the hole to just use a regular pipe tap. You're going to have to either cut off a regular pipe tap and make it into a bottoming pipe tap, or I don't know if you can buy them or not. No, I'm a machinist slash tool maker. I've never seen them, but you probably can get them. It doesn't take much to cut them off. Just a, a little uh, a, a abrasive uh, tool in your grinder uh, with a cutoff wheel. And this is what I got. Well, I put it in uh, last night. Um, I got it within like two threads of the hex. You don't want it to bottom out on the hex. So bottom out threads, I was very careful not to strip it, and I also coated it with red Loctite and let it sit overnight after degreasing it, obviously, right clean. So this is what I got. Um, hopefully uh, this is going to take me to the promised land. I'll be putting that back in now. <clears throat> As usual, in the snow. <laughs>